In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the exact dates checks are going out and money will be arriving for Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, Spousal, and SSI, plus important announcements in the month of August. I have all those dates for you right here in the video. Let's get into it and discuss what's going on. All right, August is upon us and you know what that means. Yep, another busy month upon us as well. We have a lot of things going on just like every month and I do want to point out all of those exact dates for the month of August when we can anticipate all that money to go out to millions upon millions of beneficiaries as well as some key very important announcements that we're going to be getting this month as well and I want to bring that all to your attention now again I want to point this out really quickly this is what we know about as of right now however as we work our way through the month day by day by day we're going to be getting very important announcements literally every single day just like you've been seeing here over the last several years here there's a lot of announcements there's a lot of information that comes out literally every day but this is what we know about as of right now and again the key ones that I want to bring to your attention let's get into it and talk through the list however really fast before we do can I ask a huge favor of you if you have not done so yet will you please make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button right down below the video join the other nearly half a million people here on the channel that have already done so thank you truly do appreciate your support thanks for being here really really do appreciate it I want to do whatever I possibly can to advocate on your behalf bring you the information watch the headlines do the research answer questions anything I can for you right now it's a rough time out there I get it we're all in this together we've got to stick together right now it's a tough tough time out there thank you so much please subscribe down below totally free and let's get into it and talk about what's going on here all right so i'm going to run through the month in chronological order in other words starting today and going through the month day by day and there's pointing out those key dates now obviously i'm not going to talk about every day because there's no point uh, as of right now but i want to point out the dates in which we do want to watch that we know for a fact as of right now today that things will be coming out and um, different announcements we want to watch for based on everything going on right now and what it means for all of us going forward. All right, so with that being said, right now today, okay, first of the month, okay, is um, for those of you that are receiving SSI, remember, generally you get paid on the first of the month, right? Is today a holiday or a weekend? No, therefore you got paid, right? Now, obviously this is <laughs> very obvious. You already know that you should be um, sitting on your payments already. This should have arrived right away early on in the morning. Generally, that's how it is. But again, that's just today. Now, tomorrow, we have a couple different things going on. The second day of the month, we have a couple different things. First off, for those of you that generally get payments on the third of the month, well, guess what? The third is a Saturday, okay? You're not getting paid on Saturday. We do not get paid on weekends. However, you should be getting your payment tomorrow. If you are typically somebody that gets paid on the third of the month, you should be getting your payment tomorrow, okay? Now, again, you know who you are. This is not everybody, just some people that generally get paid on the third. This is when you get paid um, tomorrow, simply because, you know, the, the third is a, a Saturday. That's why, okay? Now, next, we also have another very important economic data point coming out tomorrow as well. This is the non-farm payroll number. In other words, the job report. Now, if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for a while now, you've heard me say this before in other videos. This, in my opinion, is one of the most important reports that we get it every single month we get it the first friday of every month at 8 30 a.m east coast time that's tomorrow okay first friday of the month is when we always get this and this is very important now let me just talk about this for just a second here okay why is this so important the job market, the, the unemployment rate, the the, the non-farm payroll, the labor participation, all of these factors give us a very, very key number as far as what is going on with the economy, the health of the economy, uh, what is going on with employers, businesses, small, medium, and large, things like this. This gives us a very, very clear picture of what is going on with the economy. Now, it is a little bit lagging because it's for the previous month, but it still gives us a pretty good picture. And again, you've heard me say this before in other videos. If you are in the camp and if you're you know rooting for a stimulus check this is a number that you want to see go high 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 the higher that this number goes this is um a number that uh is likely predicated on the distribution of stimulus checks okay so again it's not always based just to land this but this gives us a very very key picture of the economy and the higher this number goes the higher the likelihood of stimulus checks just saying that okay no promises i'm just simply saying this is a key key factor in my opinion okay just saying that okay that's tomorrow 
All right, uh, right away in the morning. Okay, so of course I will bring that to your attention as soon as we get that information. Now next, we have to fast forward all the way out until the 14th. So next week, there's gonna be a lot of things going on. Don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of stuff. Okay, by the way, lawmakers, what do they do this time of year? Oh yeah, they come out and say, oh, we're gonna stick around. We're gonna we're gonna skip our uh, recess here. We're gonna stick around because we've got work to do and we're gonna skip our recess this year. Seriously? They always say that. They say that every single year. They say the same thing. Oh, we're not going on recess until we get our work done. I'm sorry. They have a ton of work that they have not done over the last couple of years here, especially this year as well. They have a bunch of work. And are they going to leave their recess so they can stay around and work? No. They say one thing, but they do the opposite, right? So we'll see what happens here this coming week. We've got a lot of big, 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 uh, big piece of legislation that are on the table right now. Trillion dollar packages that are out there and they haven't done them. Will they get them done this week? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see here, okay? We will see what happens here, but this is going to be very important. And um, August is key. I mean, they've got to get this stuff done. So anyway, we will see on this. But anyway, let's force, uh, fast forward out to the 14th of the month, okay? So we've got a couple different things going on here. Number one, this is when the, un um, sorry, the inflation report, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, this is when we'll be getting that, okay? And, so this is released bright and early in the morning, again, 8.30 a.m. East Coast time. It will be released, and this is on the behalf of July. This is July's inflation report. Now, very important report here. Why? This is the first of three data points that we're going to be getting to determine how much your COLA is going to be. Now, this is not the official announcement of the COLA, but rather this is data point number one that we need to plug into the formula. We need three data points. This is one, okay? We got one. This Well, we don't have it yet, but we will be getting data point number one. When we get data point number one, we plug it into the formula. We need three pieces of the puzzle, okay? This will be piece number one. We have two more to go after that, but this can be very, very key, and this is the information inflation data for the month of July. And very important, okay? It's gonna show us a bunch of different things of what's going on with prices. We'll see if it's still going up, if it's plateaued, if it's possibly going down. I <laughs> doubt it. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. But then again, this is gonna be another one where we will need to dig through this report and find the CPIW. The CPIW is the one that determines your COLA and we'll plug that one into the equation here, okay? So this can be very key. I'm very looking forward to that one, okay? So anyway, that'll be here in a few days. But anyway, that's the 14th. Now next, the 14th is also the second Wednesday of the month. This is for those of you that have a birthday landed between the 1st and the 10th of the month. For those of you that have the birthday between that range, this is when you generally get your payment from Social Security, the second Wednesday, right? So again, just birthdays landed between the 1st and the 10th of the month, this is when your checks arrive, okay? So, awesome stuff, um, your Social Security checks. Now, that is the second Wednesday. Now, let's go all the way out until the third Wednesday of the month, which is the 21st of the month, okay? Now, uh, this is, again, for those of you that have a birthday landing between the 11th and the 20th of the month. Your checks generally arrive on the third Wednesday of the month, and this just happens to be the 21st, okay? The, f the, the, the last possible day you could possibly get it, okay, just because of how the calendar landed and based on that video that I had out the other day sh uh, showing with you the schedule of the, the payments. This is the last possible day of the of the month that you could get it as far as the third Wednesday because the first of the month is, again, obviously uh, Thursday, right? Today, right? So anyway, just want to point that out really quickly. But anyway, uh, talking about the 21st, this is, again, birthdays landing between the 21st, or sorry, the, uh, the 11th and the 20th of the month is the 21st of the month is when payments will be going out for that group, okay? So next, let's go all the way out until the 28th. This is the fourth Wednesday of the month, and this is for the, those of you that have a birthday landed between the 21st and the 31st of the month. This is when your payments arrive the fourth Wednesday of the month, and this is that day, okay? The fourth Wednesday, the 28th of August. Got that? Okay, so these are those are the dates in which those payments are going out. Now next, the 29th of the month as well. What's going on here? Another interesting and important data point that I want to do, uh, bring to your attention here. This is when we get another uh, GDP number, okay? Now, there are typically a couple different GDP gross domestic product, uh, product um, announcements that we do get, but this is another very important one, okay? Now, this is going to give us another glimpse into what was the GDP for the second quarter of 2024? Why do we care? Why do we care? Because this, this is a very, very, very key um, glimpse into what is going on with uh, the economy as a whole. Remember, GDP, the higher GDP shows the stronger the potential economy. The lower GDP shows 
slower growth and it shows basically weak economy, right? Well, we saw that uh, the second quarter, or sorry, the first quarter of 2024, GDP came in at 1.6%. That was the, the first initial estimates. And then about a month later, we got 1.3%. It was revised down three tenths of 1%. Is that a healthy economy? Mm, not really, right? So again, just, just simply saying here, this is going to be another key number that we need to watch here on this day because on the 29th, we're going to be getting that also number or that on the GDP. And if we see another lower number as well, this is showing that, hey, the economy is slowing down and all of the work out of the Federal Reserve of raising interest rates um, is really kind of clamping down on the economy, right? So is that a good thing? Depends how you look at it. If you if you're again if you're in the camp of rooting for a stimulus check, then <laughs> you want to see a contracting economy. You want to see a uh, a major slowdown in the economy because when you see that, the likelihood of a recession or economic contraction gets greater. When you see an economic contraction or recession, what do you see? You see stimulus every time, right? Just simply saying, very important here. Okay, so we're gonna begin that information on the 29th, and um, we'll have to see what happens there with that report as well. So these are the uh, dates that I wanted to point out for you. Now, no Federal Reserve meeting in the month of August. Why? It concluded yesterday, okay? They do it once every six weeks. So if that's the case, we have another one in mid-September. Will be the next one, nothing from the Fed in August, okay? Just wanna point that out really quickly. Well, what I should say, what I should say is that there's no FOMC meeting. That's what I wanted to say about that, okay? There will be information out of the Fed uh, in the month of August, but no FOMC meeting. The next one will be in six weeks in mid-September. So got all that, okay? Now, a couple other things I want to point, uh, point out really quickly going forward. We need to continue watching the farm bill. Farm bill is vitally important right now. $1.5 trillion on the table right here. They have to have it done in about 60 days. 60 days must be done, okay? So that's gonna be a very key one right there as well. Anyway, uh, this is what I have for you right now in this video. So please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends on my social media. There's a share button right down below. Uh, check out any of the other videos here on the channel, including the thousands in the video library, the ones I've hand-selected for you down below in the description at the top of the comment section. Right now, pop on up on your screen as well. You'll see some videos showing up there. And uh, enjoy your next video. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, check out the next one. Take your selection now, and I'll catch you again in just a minute.